First Thessalonians 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Prayer is our only communication to God. Prayer is not something you get on your knees. Prayer is not something you do at, a, at an altar. Pray without ceasing is anytime, everywhere, when you got the opportunity. You can pray on driving a car going somewhere. You can pray on the subway, on the bus. You can pray while eating a meal. You can pray when you can't sleep at night. You can pray when you get up in the middle of the night to use the facilities. You can pray sitting down. You can pray standing up. You can pray kneeling down. You can pray kneeling, laying down. You can pray for yourself. You can pray for your family. You can pray for others. You can pray for the leaders of our nations. You can pray for healing. You can pray for troubles that you're in. You can pray for financial needs. You can thank God. You can give God the blessing. You can give God the glory. You can give it all to God. You can reach out to God. You can speak to God. You can talk to God. You can say, God, I don't understand what's going on. God, I have no idea what's going on. God, I don't know. You can get up in the morning. First thing you do is, is, is sit on your bed or even let, stay lay in your bed. Say, Lord God, you know. I want to do something for you today. I want to please you today. Lord God, I'm going out and I'm a sinner. And if you don't give me the courage, I'm going to fail today. I don't want to fail. And at the end of the night, you can sit in your bed, lay down in your bed, say, Lord God, I want to thank you for this day. Lord, I hope I pleased you today. And Lord, where I didn't please you, where I made you unhappy and I made the devil happy, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Give us a good, peaceful night. <clears throat> you can pray for your mom, you can pray for your dad, you can pray for your brothers and sisters, you can pray for your spouse, you can pray for your sons, you can pray for your daughters, your grandparents. Pray without ceasing. Paul, throughout many of the letters that he wrote to the church, he says, I pray for you, I pray for you, I pray for them, I pray for you. You're constantly in my prayers. Prayer is something that everybody can do as a Christian. Well, you know, I'm blind. I can't read the Bible. You, you can get audio. You can MP3, but you can pray. I, I can't go out and witness. I can't go out and, and, and gather souls. I, I'm in the convalescent care. I, I, I'm in the hospital. I'm in rehab. You can pray. You can pray in a hospital bed. You can pray in a cot. You can pray in your bed. You can pray in, 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 a, in a facility where... You're hiding out from a, from a weather storm. You know, you're in the shelter and whatever kind of facility they give you, pray in the shelter. You can pray in the front seat of the car. You can pray in the passenger seat of the car. You can pray in the back seat of the car. You can pray in the doctor's office. Pray without ceasing. Anytime, all the time. I grew up Roman Catholic. And I grew up Roman Catholic. I had this idea, you know, you had to be on your knees. Baptist churches today, you know, come on up to the prayer altar. No, you can pray right there in the seat. Me and the Lord got things right, praying right there. Didn't have to get out of my seat. And God dealt with me. God worked with me. And God spoke to me. And I spoke to God. Another important time of prayer is when you got the Lord Supper at your church. <clears throat> You better get yourself right. You better pray. You better judge. You better look at yourself. You better look at what sins you're doing. You better ask God, what sins am I doing? Lord God, what has affected our relationship? What have I done that you're not pleased with? That's prayer. If we confess our sins, he's faithful. If we confess our sins, that's prayer. If we thank God, giving God the blessing, thank you, Lord God, for all the things, that's prayer. Communication. We are soldiers on the battlefield. We are warriors. Lord, I need support. Lord, call into air support. Lord, call in some aid. Help. Lord, I've been wounded. I need help. Call the aid station. Call the spiritual ambulance, Lord. I, 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 I'm in trouble. Lord God, I, 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 I come to this person, I'm dealing with it about their souls and help me. You don't have to be an audio voice. It could be a prayer that's inside you. 
Oh, we can't pray in the schools. Yes, you can. Let me show you how to pray. You put your tray down at your school table and you... It, 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 and I just prayed. I didn't make a show. <clears throat> We're not to stand in the street corner. Okay, here I go pray. I've been in churches. You know, brother, such and such, we pray. And they give this long, fascinating prayer. And you can tell they don't pray at home. They only pray out in the open for others to see. Oh, I could read a prayer. It ain't good. The Bible says we're not to do repetition prayers. The prayers that come from our heart, we're to sing hymns. The best thing we can do speaking to God is put instrumental hymn in and sing to the Lord our own words. That's prayer. That's prayer without season. Prayer is talking. Say, God, I'm not really happy in the situation I'm in right now. That's prayer without seeing it. God, I want to thank you. Things are great and wonderful. Pray for that thing. Lord God, my, my, my child's going up for this. My child's about to do it. Lord, that's praying to God. Lord, protect my family while I go away. Go out to work today. Lord, keep them safe. Keep them well. Let my wife have a good... That's a prayer. Lord God, I'm going to work today, and I think there's going to be trouble. I think there's going to be problems. Lord God, before me. Lord God, I thank you for this job. Lord, I ask you to bless this job and, and my co-workers with me in the honor and glory of Jesus Christ that I may get something for you today. How's that? That's prayer. Getting gospel tracks out. Lord God, I pray for this gospel track. I'm using a public bathroom. Lord, I'm putting this gospel track here. May the next person to come use these facility come and read this gospel track and know Jesus Christ is their Savior. That's praying to God. Pray without season could be any time, all the time, every time. If there's one tool that the Christian has, whether he be blind, whether he be deaf, whether he be lame, he can pray to God. He can do it without season. There's, make, a, make a prayer list and keep to that prayer list. Read your Bible. And if you got your Bible, I, I read this on... January 10th, I read this January 11th, and I read my Bible every single day. Well, that day that comes up for reading your Bible, put a name right next to that day. And every year as you go through the Bible, you're going to have that name there. Pray for them. Pray for the lost souls. Pray for the missionaries. Support missionaries by prayer. There are missionaries right now. I look at, I pray for the nation of Haiti. I don't know if there's any missionaries right now in Haiti. I have supported missionaries in Haiti, and they disappear. I've heard stories, and I've heard wonders. I still pray for, for the, the, the Haitian missionary that God knows. And maybe there is no mission. What if there's no missionaries in Haiti? I'm praying for Haiti. Maybe God will send somebody into the field. God said, God said, Jesus Christ said, God said, pray that the, that the Father sends the laborers into the field. Pray for the, support the missionaries financially, and, and if you can't support them financially, and you, you are supporting some and other, pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for evangelists. Pray for the churches. Pray, 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 pray. You don't need to go to the store and get a book about prayer. Just open up your lips and start praying. Open up your heart and start. That's prayer. That's better than, than buying a $9.99 book, a $12.95 book, or a $35 book. The best thing you can do and the only thing you can do, the Bible tells you to do, what's the will of God? Pray without ceasing. Give God talking. Speaking to God. You can speak on the telephone. Turn off that telephone. Talk to God. Why is it most Baptists and Baptist churches, they can talk about others, they can gossip about others, but they can't speak and they can't talk to God. You, you want to speak about people? You want to tell people about God? Say, God, let me tell you about this person in the church. God, let me tell you what I heard about this person in the church. That'll stop your gossiping. That'll start your trouble when you start praying without ceasing. You're on the battlefield, pray. You're in a Christian walk, pray. Pray without ceasing. Keep it up. Keep on going. Keep talking to God as you are talking on the telephone. Pray without ceasing. I see everybody talking on the telephone. Pray to God. You just don't have the device. The device you have is God can hear you. Our God has ears that can hear. He listens to you. He listens to you when you're not even talking to him. Bible says, Jesus said that every man shall give an account of every idle word, spend the idle words. Why don't you pray without ceasing before God, holy and righteous. He wants to hear from you because he wants to hear from you. Pray.